chair at this time calls Matthew Lawson, testifying for House Bill 1332. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members, for allowing me to be here today and speak before you. My name is Matthew Lawson. I'm a, I'm a public policy analyst for the Texas Homeschool Coalition. Uh, I'm testifying on behalf of THSC today in favor of House Bill 1332 by Representative Israel. Um, THSC is a statewide advocacy organization for homeschooling and family rights in Texas. We advocate on behalf of approximately 350,000 homeschool students in Texas. Uh, we advocate broadly for the right of families to raise their children because we believe that that is the foundation of our right to homeschool. Uh, THSC has worked with cities and homeschool families across, this, across the state of Texas on daytime curfews. Um, a few of these cities include Magnolia, Bedford, Corsicana, Ulysses, uh, Waco, Houston, Dallas, and many others. Most recently, we worked with a large bipartisan group of stakeholders to help end the juvenile curfew right here in the city of Austin. Uh, THSE opposes juvenile curfew laws because they undermine family rights and uh, they disproportionately affect homeschool families. Uh, these, these laws undermine family rights by presuming that parents should uh, be disallowed from allowing their children to be out at a certain hour. Curfew laws often harm homeschool families because uh, homeschool students don't have the same schedule as traditional uh, public school students. Often they, um, they start early, they finish early. Um, they, they start at a later time than public school students or they just have different days off than their uh, non-homeschool peers. Um, these, ordinances off, these ordinances often impose heavy fines and require local businesses to report students out in, a, out in public at the um, quote unquote wrong time of day. Homeschool families around the state have, ha have consistently experienced conflicts with daytime curfew ordinances and THSC opposes, um, opposes these ordinances on their face because they undermine family, uh, family rights. There's a broad pipe, as I mentioned previously, there's a broad bipartisan uh, coalition that opposes these ordinances and who recently banded together to overturn the, the Austin ordinance, Austin ordinance, rather. Some of them you will hear from today. Um, if, such, if such bipartisan agreement can be reached on this issue, it should be a strong indicator that this is a problem. Um, we also believe that um, it, it, the um, inconsistency of these curfew laws is a problem uh, due to the fact that from city to city and county to county, um, they, they can, uh, be, there can be different ordinances and uh, many, many families might not be familiar with the, uh, the different ordinances in uh, city, different cities and different counties uh, as opposed to their own home, home city or county. And um, you know we just want them to be able to be familiar with all of these ordinances, um, or we want a uniform ordinance uh, so that when, when they are um, traveling from city to city and county to county, as, as people do every day, they aren't um, hit with a new ordinance that they weren't familiar with. Um, uh, THSC strongly supports this bill by Representative Israel, which prohibits uh, cities and counties from establishing juvenile curfew ordinances, um, which often disproportionately and negatively, negatively affect homeschoolers. Uh, thank you so much, members, for your time, and I strongly urge you to vote to pass this legislation so that we can protect homeschool families and non-homeschool families alike in the state of Texas. Thank you.